Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to this new video. Today we will compare the new released gacha game, Solo Leveling Rise with Genshin Impact. Now, uh, I have been playing the game for three days now. Uh, the game has been released, I think, four or five days ago. So I, I didn't play the game in, uh, in the first day. Maybe I started playing the game uh, at the end of the second day. But I have decent uh, amount of experience and knowledge about the game during uh, those three days and I have tested many things in the game and I will give you my honest opinion about the game. The first thing uh, that you will realize when you start playing uh, solo leveling is the monetization to pay to win. So wherever you click, for example, this is a special summon. So you can do a uh, 15 uh, timbal summon and whenever you want to keep your uh, uh, SSR units, you have to pay. In, and every time you level up, you do whatever thing, you have to pay. I, I was really disgusted when I started playing the game from the amount of, of pay, pay to win. I was about to delete the game, honestly. Um, here is the shop. You can see where is the shop. Okay. Here is the shop. Uh, everything, everything you can get it uh, by spending money. But honestly, this is the case for all gacha games. Even if we talk about Genshin Impact, they don't have the amount of monetization that uh, solo leveling does. But uh, you can you can get anything if you spend crazy amount of money. And we know our whales have C6. Five stars with our five weapons within ten minutes from uh, the character uh, characters uh, release, but this wasn't the case honestly. Despite offering many offers with real money, uh, the game is kind of free to play friendly. I would say million time more than Genshin Impact. I'll, I'll tell you how. I've been playing the game for three days, as as I said and look at my account guys this is uh, the hunters that i have here is by the way this is my favorite uh, i didn't intend to get this uh, ssr unit or the five star character if you want to call it but she was really really good i got two kobe's by mistake now this one i was intended to, uh, I intended to get this one and um, she's good, but uh, I think this one is better. So I have two SSR units, which uh, equivalent to five star characters in, uh, in Genshin Impact. Uh, and uh, this one with uh, one Kobe, so Constellation one, and this one is C2. So I have got five five star characters in three days and this one i got the signature web on for that character um let's check my uh, main character uh song i got five star weapon for him this is the main weapon and this is the secondary web so this is something to to get this amount of five stars in game like genshin and back Trust me, at least you need six or seven months of playing the game if you was lucky. If you was lucky. Uh, look at uh, the, the, the gifts that the game giving now. By the way, this is not content creator program or anything like that. This is something the game giving for everybody. So once you start uh, you log in, you get 300. Then they send 2000. Then they send 3000. Come on, in, in the uh, anniversary event, we got 10 wishes in Genshin Impact. And that was the biggest giveaway we have ever got in, in Genshin Impact. But here, we're given decent amount of... Uh, uh, this is the item or the coin used to summon the, the champions. I forgot to mention the Logue rewards in the, in the game. So once you log in for seven days, you will guarantee getting SSR unit inside the game, which uh, this cool guy. And uh, in two weeks from playing the game, you will get his signature weapon, 
which is something really, really cool. There is another login rewards, five balls in seven days. And uh, finally, the last one, uh, rune for the character, plus rune boxes uh, for seven days, which really, really nice rewards for playing the game. The gameplay is really interesting. I like the gameplay of this game. Um, here is the summons. I'll explain it now. So here's the droves. There is two types of banner. It's kind of similar to Genshin Impact. So this is the red top uh, banners. We have two banners. This wolf guy and uh, this spray girl. This is, by the way, this is my farm today. Let's let's see what we got to get actually. We try it together and see more luck in, in the gacha. I mean I'm already satisfied. I will be honest with you, I already got um, what I want. Okay, nothing interesting. We can do two more. So, the amount of wishes that I, I, I got today, probably for someone who have been playing Genshin Impact, he need month at least to get the, the same amount of wishes. This is the last one, by the way. Not bad. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of close. So uh, the bidy uh, is 80 instead of 90 in Genshin Impact. And uh, the soft bidy, I think, at uh, 67. And there is the custom banner. This is way, better, uh, way better than the permanent banner in Genshin Impact. Because you can choose which SSR units you want to select here. So there is 50% chance to get the champions you have selected. I have 30 tries, so we can do uh, three tens. Yeah, nothing here. Uh, nothing so far. This is my last try. So I got um, <coughs> uh, 48. So let me actually make it 50. So I do three more tens. Oh, that's this is our unit. Probably got the buck. Ooh. Okay, so this is the weapon that I, I already have. And I don't want another weapon, honestly. I, I, I'd rather get uh, enhancement to the one I have already. As you see, so I can advance this one. Yes. Now it will become C1. Easy busy. So uh, here is an idea about the game. Trust me, if you are free to play, if you don't spend money in the game, you still can get make a good progress in the game. Here is a way to get five star. So if you do some summons, um, uh, here is a quest. So you get those coins that you use to roll the dice. Um, here is clear gates. So this is a simple dungeon. Uh, simple dungeon. Here is just login. So you get three dailies for free. And there is another three if you do 10 balls. Now let's look at the rewards. Uh, when when you complete round, each round you complete, you get one of those rewards. At fifth round, which I already completed, 
you will get guaranteed an SSR web, which mean if if you got five star or SSR sorry SSR uh, unit and you don't have the signature weapon for this SSR unit, you still can get it for free. Maybe this is even just for now, but this this shows how uh, the game is kind of free to play friendly. So uh, even the, the signature weapon for other uh, uh, SSR units, you can actually craft it and I, I will explain it uh, in a bit. So you can do rolls here. And once, as I said, once you complete round, you get this SSR unit. Here is another one. Uh, by upgrading your character and hunters, you get some points. And when you reach uh, certain points, you get certain rewards. Here is another one. By the way, I'm so close from uh, getting this second Kobe. Of my uh, of th this weapon, which uh, sword of the light, uh, by playing the game, I didn't spend single penny in the game, guys. But as you see, I'm I'm doing amazing progress. I believe I will get um, this red up character uh, to C5 by just playing the game. No pay to win, no spending money in the game. There is a good chance to get C5 banner, uh, character banner, by just playing the game. Uh, this, I um, maybe, still maybe won't be, uh, be able to do it on the time, but I think uh, still 17 day on, on the banner. So most likely I'm going to get uh, Cha, I'm, I'm calling her Cha. I'm, going to get chat to uh, C5. This is something impossible for anyone who's playing Genshin Impact. This is something you can't do if you are playing Genshin Impact. Now, let's talk about another thing uh, in the game, which uh, the crafting. You can actually craft the signature weapon of any character you want. You can pick any signature weapon, even the red up uh, character like uh, Cha. You can craft actually the Sword of the Light by getting those uh, tickets or designs. Uh, I already got three now. Um, there is some challenges here. Um, I think the next challenge, probably I will be there tomorrow and I will get this one. Um, I could get uh, the weapon for Cha, but I'm uh, picking uh, the weapon for Emma. Yeah, her name is Emma Laurent. Uh, I'm getting the signature weapon for Emma. This shows that the game is really worth playing, guys. Now, there is a lot of features. Uh, I won't be able to cover everything uh, today about the game, but there is a lot of things that you can do. Um, here is some mechanics in, in the game. For example, for the artifacts, farming there is those uh, dungeons that you can do you <clears throat> you will get three keys every day so you can farm three dungeons uh, same as Genshin Impact uh, the more the higher level of uh, the dungeon the more chance to get uh, the highest tier which uh, the gold I believe uh, it's the legendary which the golden one um, uh, I think the last one I did is tier 7, but probably I will do higher level soon. Uh, another thing, you can do something called the gates. You can do it 11 times. And every day you have something called swap. So you can do 5 swaps free every day. This uh, swap means you can get the reward of uh, the gate without uh, actually playing the gate. But you, you still have 11, so you can instantly get five. And the uh, other six, uh, you have to do uh, to do them yourself. Now, if, if, you, if you spend money, you can, uh, for example, if I want to swap this one, I really, uh, I don't have key. So I have to get the uh, key and they have to swap. So you see here, I need to spend this coin. But 
I mean, uh, I still can do the dungeon myself. It's it's not the big deal. You can get some weapon materials and some materials to upgrade your shadows. Some, I would say, bad artifacts, but it's like okay artifacts if you just uh, started playing the game. The best artifacts you can get is going to be from the Incor missions here. There is also the instance dungeons uh, dropping uh, accessories which uh, bracelet, necklace, earring and uh, rings. Uh, each each dungeons of those that I have mentioned have independent uh, keys which means every day you will get three keys for this one three keys for this one three keys uh sorry 11 for this one uh if you are playing genshin you know everything about the resin uh if you want to upgrade uh, weapon for example you need to get weapon material so you have to do the weapon dungeon um pretty much you won't be able to farm artifacts or anything else until you finish with your weapon the case is different here, you still can farm each thing independently. Uh, you can farm your artifacts, at the same time do the gates to farm uh, maybe weapon materials, shadow materials. I still honestly don't know everything about the game yet, I'm still learning the game. So maybe there is a lot of things I, I, I don't know myself. The rewards in the game is really worth it. Look, look at uh, challenges here in the game. So here is the challenges in the game. Uh, each challenge you complete, you get decent reward. Uh, each chapter challenges you complete, you get 10 tickets for summon in the custom banner, which really good. I remember when I hit AR60 in uh, Genshin Impact, we only got garbage and trash. The rewards for completing stuff in, in this game is really, really, uh, really worth it. Now, as I said, the, the, the things that I don't like about the game is the pop-up menus that every time I'm, I'm getting. The loading, the loading is one of the most annoying issues that I faced while I'm playing the game. Uh, it's really killing me, makes the game really slow. Now my PC isn't that bad, uh, I'm using uh, 3070, RTX 3070, my uh, processor is Ryzen 7, I think uh, 5800, um, they're all good, at least for this uh, uh, kind of games, but uh, I still get loading and knowing loading in, in the game. Now the, the problem isn't in, in BC, it's a, a global issue for everyone who is playing the game, everyone facing the same issue despite of uh, their PC. Uh, but overall that was a, a quick overview uh, about the game. Uh, I like the game, the combat style in the game is really cool. The story is interesting, I mean it's solo leveling, uh, I believe most of you who played solo leveling will like the game. If you're a new player, if you're thinking about uh, the game, I highly encourage you to try the game. Um, and yes, it could be annoying watching all the pop up menus that uh, monetize uh, buying battle pass, buying whatever but trust me uh, the game is really interesting you can make a good progress in the game you can get everything in the game i believe if you play the game now uh, i'm not sure if this just for the launch of the game and they want to make people play their games so they're giving good rewards uh, and maybe they will change it later but if they keep up at this rhythm uh, the game will be good thanks for watching give me your opinion about the game in uh, the comment section down below if there is anything i forgot to mention 
um, I would love to hear it from you guys. If there is anything you would like to discuss with me, I will be happy to discuss it with you in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends to uh, try the game. And see you in the next video.